Yo, what is good? What is Bracken? It's your boy, the DJC, aka D Don Juan Carlos, and we're here for some more uh, videos. We back here on DJ's Destiny. What it do? What it be? I already said that. All right, so here's what's happening, right? We got a different video again today. We're making all kinds of videos. You already know what time it is. Uh, Beyond Lights dropping in a couple of weeks. And yeah, in a couple of weeks. Literally, November 10th is right around the corner. And I want to make this video quickly because with all the sandbox changes coming to Destiny 2, there's going to be a few guns you want to keep your eye out for. So we're going to get started. There's going to be part one of a three-part mini-series. You already know the vibes. You know the vibrations. We finna do it. All right, so what's up? What's up? What's good? Uh, if you don't know and you didn't read the TWAB from October 22nd, you should know that all 600 RPM auto rifles are going to get nerfed, right? Normally, they got an increase in damage by two, and their damage is actually getting, uh, it's actually getting reverted and getting an, incre an increase by 0.5. So, they're all auto rifles. I know I said it weird, but here's the gist of it. All 600 RPM auto rifles are getting a 1.5 damage reduction. Now, what does that mean? I'll tell you what it means. You gonna have to keep your eyeballs peeled out here for some new auto rifle fire. And the reason why I want to make this video is because I got you, dog. Here's what you need to keep your eye on for the new auto rifle meta if you're looking for auto rifles. So. With uh, 600 RPM auto rifles going down, uh, their damage going down, that gives way to other auto rifles uh, that don't shoot as fast or shoot faster because they have a little bit more breathing room and they should have close to equal time to kill. Uh, of course, let's just let's just start with the uh, our precision frame auto rifle homies, dog. So I'm talking about the Braytech Werewolf. If you need to get yourself your hands on a Braytech Werewolf, you can get it right now because this is the last week of Festival of the Lost. Go get that. Go get that. Braytech Werewolf Precision Frame with 450 and it gets Mulligan, gets Vorpal Weapon, it gets a whole bunch of craziness. So you need to keep your eyes out for that. Not only that, if you played last season and you have a pretty decent 7th Seraph Carbine, the auto rifle from Season of the Worthy, also precision frame. I have mine with Rampage Hipfire Grip, with Ricochet Rounds, and Hammer Forge Rifling. If you don't have, if you saved that up and wasn't sure if you were going to use it, I'm suggesting you use it and be on light, because this gun is going to be nuts. Right? Not only do we have that, right? That's our precision frames. We're going to move on to a little bit more hard hitting weapons if you don't like the uh the precision frames we got our heavy uh our high impact auto rifles so of course uh we're still in the middle of season of arrivals still got a couple more uh like i said we got a couple more weeks for season of arrivals false promises high impact frame if you don't have a false promise with uh killing win unrelenting you're doing something wrong and you should get yourself a killing win unrelenting uh false promises because not on every guardian kill you get healing or every three kills against enemies you get healing and then every kill you get movement speed because of killing win it, it's broken it's freaking nuts dude it's it's cray cray it's cray cray all right so false promises is our first uh auto rifle you should keep your eye out for another one you should keep your eyeballs peeled for keep them open keep them open we got the age-old bond from last wish age-old bond is getting carried over into beyond light so if you need to go farm ribbon you need to go put in the code so you can get the chest you know what I mean go do that you need to go do that because age-old bond high impact frame is going to be smacking Right, get yourself a kill clip on that. Get yourself a triple tap, and you gonna be uh, feeling the vibrations if you do know what I mean. And last but not least, the last archetype of auto rifle that you should keep your eyeballs peeled for coming through next season. What do you do, baby? Keep your eyes out on the 720 auto rifle. So if you're for, if you have some guns from Season or Dawn, I would keep my eyes peeled for that Steel Feather Repeater. If it comes back, great. If it doesn't, you better hope you got one in the vault. But if you don't got a Steel Feather Repeater, there's also the Reckless Oracle from Garden of Salvation that you can farm up right now with a tap to trigger kill clip or you can have auto loaded holster, devilishness, depending on what it, what it is that you need. Uh, so yeah, 
these are some auto rifles that you probably forgot about haven't used in a minute but they are coming back my prediction is that they are coming back with a vengeance since they got a little bit more breathing room with the 600 rpm auto rifle nerf so hey man uh go farm up these auto rifles do what you gotta do get ready for beyond light because we gonna be out here baby coming through and if you want more content from your boy subscribe to dj's destiny i got my other channel too the don juan carlos uh check me out dog i'm on twitter check the description you already know what time it is if you enjoyed the video definitely hit that like button i'm gonna catch you guys later deuces